Hi there and welcome back to my channel Craft With Me Dawny Today I'm going to um, sort out a housing for this old timer It's not really old but it came off a, an old disused clock but the timer still actually works So um, I'm just going to do, do that so <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to bob it into this cardboard box. It started off just as your normal brown style box, but I've actually covered it with a coat of gesso, gesso, whatever you call it, gesso, I think, just a, an acrylic undercoat. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a going to poke that, that out. I'm going to give it a coat of um, chalk paint and then I'm going to decoupage it. So just bear with me. So I'm doing it in this truck egg blue. I'm going to use a dabber like this and just dab it on because I'll get away with either putting one or two coats on using this dabber whereas if I use a brush it might need three or four coats so I'm just going to cover this in this chart paint I could do with timing myself when I do these videos because this camera cuts off after about 34 minutes. Um, but you never know, I just might use it. It'll keep me so I know what I'm doing anyway. But then I don't know that I could cope with it actually ticking away. But we'll see. I'm just going to cover all this with this paint. It's been a beautiful day today. The sun's been out and shining. It's been lovely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue and paint this and the lid a bit and then I'll be back when it dries I don't want to bore you with doing this so I'll see you soon bye hello right we're all dry so I've painted all these cardboard bits up and what we're going to do we're going to encase this timer but what I've had to do is because it's it sat quite low in the box I've had to like build a bit of a bridge up here there can you see so I've just used bits of cardboard and um, sticky double sided sticky pads so I'm just gonna get these tops off these pads because they're an absolute nightmare I usually end up stuck stuck up regardless so right then I've also had to shave round here as well, just to get it so it'll sit right. So I'm just going to bob a bit of glue on top of these here, just so that they stay stuck. I'm just putting a thin layer on. If I can get it out. There we go. Just put my lid back on. You can see. Right then. Bits of black all off that. So I'm just gonna bob this onto that platform bridgey kind of thing. Just make sure I can get it central. Just rub that on a bit. 
actually a bit more movement. So I will get there in a second. So I think we're going to go about there. So I'll just pop that down there. And then this is the chromey looking ring thing that we're on the, the clock. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bob this into the lid because as you can see I've poked out the middle middle bit so we don't need that. So I'm going to bob this in here now. Just the lid. lid thing. You know what I mean. <laughs> and then I'm just going to bob to get big bowl. I just use this for final work. I've got a sec. I've just got me full bottle fabric tack. So I'm just gonna bob some round this frame here and I can get it out. I'm just gonna just go around it. like that, get it all in, just going to wipe that out, it'll wipe off anyway, I've got it all up my arm now, so just pop this on now. Central. Just pulling it against it. Let's get rid of a bit of that excess glue. Running a baby wipe round. more of a mess I've just had a wipe underneath it. <laughs> oh dear. So I'll just leave that a couple of sets just to go up a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna decoupage this up. Like I've, I've done the rest of my stuff that I use in here, you know, for storage. So this is my napkin of choice. Because this is what I've used for all my bits and bobs. So I'm just going to strip this back. We only, we only actually want the top layer. So, there's three layers on this. So there we go. So that's the full sheet. I'll use them bits for mopping up with if need be. So then what I need to do is decide which bit I want to use. So I think I'm going to go with that bit for now, for starters. So I use like a water pen for me. Well, in like a water pen, it is a, a water pen. So I'm just going to go around this bit of napkin here, around this flower. Just tear that bit out. 
I mean I will need more but I'm just going to go on this bit bit at a time and then build it up slowly gosh I'm stuck to it I'll take that off there get rid of it file it as they say Is there. So that's the top. Yep, I think we'll go there on that bit. I'm just going to get some of my glue. It is, it is Mod Podge mat that I use. I just poured it into a jar. Right then, so we're going to decoupage this now with this napkin. So I'm just going to bob some glue on here. Just where it's going to go. Or near on. Got right in right way around. Yep. I'm silly, I forgot to take this bit off here. Look at the say you're running before you can walk. <laughs> I'm just going into that little groove bit first. There, like that. Making sure that it sits right. Then just gonna tap it down. Just putting my nail into that just to I don't want to split it but I'm just pushing it in to there. These little straggly bits I'll just get off with the emery board after. So if you can hear that that burr in it's a central eating. Because the boiler's actually above this this room. So you can actually hear it burring sometimes. Right then, so I'm just going to pull that forward there and I'm just going to get my baby wipe and I'm just going to go over this plastic chrome thing there and I'm just going to bob that down there. I'm going to bob a bit more glue on. There. There we go. Just get that on there like that. Sorry, I'm just looking for the bag now. And then I use a, a plastic a food bag then I'm smoothing mine out. Again it's up to you what you you feel comfortable in using. I just prefer to use a bag than what I do cling film. You know you cling wrap. I can't get on with that. I end up with it all doubled over and matted up. So it's not for me. Right then so Push that on there like that. And I'm just going to go in, just pushing my nail into it. I'm just going to 
going to get my knife now and I'm just going to go down that seam there. I should really wait until it's dry. There you go. But me being me, I can't wait. So, just get this little bit over as well. So I don't know whether I'm actually going to stand this up or just have it, have it flat. But I'll have to put some sort of a, a base on it if I'm going to stand it up because if I have it like that it's just going to roll. So I'll probably just use it like that. So I'm happy with that bit on there. So I'll put some more on. I have also got some like scrappy bits here, which I'm probably going to use. <clears throat> Looks like I've got some gesso on that. So I'll just get rid of some of these bits. I hope you can see all right. So I did actually knock the camera earlier. I was reaching over to the plugs and I caught my head on it. So it could have moved, but it looks okay from here. Rid of that little bit there. Let's see how we get on with that bit now. So is that the exact self and same flower. No, I thought it was same flower. Oh dear, that's just what we don't want. So, I'm going to go with this bit around here, this area. So, I'll just get some glue on. Because, I mean, you can use any napkin, anything you want, any pattern. I'm just recycling, well, upcycling this time, and it was often at a kitchen clock, like a vintage style one, I mean it wasn't vintage but style, um, that no longer worked. So instead of throwing it in the bin, I thought, oh, I might have a go with that. Uh, I think I'm going to go this way. I'm not phased if it's upside down. Bear with me. I think I'm just going to go there. This one. I'm just going to pull that back a little bit. Just while I get this in here. I'm just tapping it in gently. Just into that groove. There. Oops. Should go in easy enough anyway. Because the napkin actually stretches don't it when it's wet but I don't want to stretch it to a degree that it's going to tear so I'm just gently padding that down just be really careful a bit more glue on there.
girl. Make sure this is up to rim two. I'm just going to go in again, like I said, for a minute. And then I'm just going to get a knife and just chop it in. Just get rid of that. Same again with this bit. Just cleaning it. Round. There we go. It's only a thing with me and glue. It was all my fingers stuck together. Right then. bag and I'll just rub this on just to get rid of some creases. I don't mind if there's some on, on it. Sometimes it's hard to, to get them out. I'll just rub over gently. You all know your limits now far to go but I suggest when you start doing decoupage use either some cheap napkins or some that you're not very fond of or even just practice on something with the the layers that you take off in like the, the other two layers from napkin and have a little practice rather than wasting and ruining your your, your nice ones I think you, you know what I mean. I wouldn't waste my best ones doing it anyway. Just making sure that I've got all these down. That's that bit. So I'm just going to bob a little bit of something on here. Um, maybe just a little, I don't know, I don't think I really want another flower. I don't think, let's see what we can muster. I might just put a bit of script on. I don't think I've got enough here in this scrap. Or have I? I might just bob this bit here, just strip it round. Just use this bit, I think. So I don't want a big bit. This is why I always save my scrap. And then when you're doing little bits, you can always use it. Just seems a shame to throw your bits away. Right. I'm just going to bob this last bit on. And then... You could do a full cover with this as well if you wanted. You know, like use a full length of napkin to totally cover the the surface of what it is that you're covering. But I I didn't want to, I just wanted a few bits on here and there. So there you go. So, so as you can see. 
I'll just put these bits on for now. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to allow these to dry. And then I'll be back. We won't be long. The sun dries off. So I'm going to let that dry and I'll be back and then we'll get it varnished and tidied up. Okay, see you soon. Hi. Right, we're all dry. I've actually given this its first coat of varnish. Um, I was going to film this morning, but nice weather brings out loud music. So it was impossible to film. Anyway, let's give it a go. I hope you've all had a nice day. It's been absolutely beautiful here. Really, really warm. I mean, it could be snowing tomorrow. Knowing the English weather. But anyway. So I'm just giving this a coat now. It's final coat of varnish. I just use a matte varnish because I prefer all my bits to be matte. But I mean, it's up to you if you want to use a satin or a gloss. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going around keeping it all in the same direction. God, I'll drop this if it starts ringing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I was told to do it and use it for when I'm videoing because my um, camera cuts out at 34 minutes. And it's caught me out a couple of times. Um, so I might do, but I mean it'll scare me to death if I'm concentrating and this starts blasting. So, but we'll see. But at least you'll know what you in future videos if you ain't ringing you'll know exactly what it is <laughs> i suppose if all else fails and i don't use it i haven't lost anything because it was just a little cardboard box you know, less than a quid each or maybe a pound for two i can't really remember I'm pretty sure I got them from the range. Right then, so I kept it all running that way. Make sure there's none pooling. Just tidy this up underneath. I have decided I'm just going to stand it up on its base when I use it. Naughty. So there we are. So we'll let that dry. And see how we go. I'll just pop that brush in. Put my lid on my varnish. <clears throat> I make myself laugh though when I start because I want everything matching. So I've got a little tape measure here. And I've even decoupaged that. It still needs painting, finishing off. But um, just so it all matches. <laughs> well, it uses up bits and scraps, don't it? So there you go. I'm going to, my next video, I'm going to um, do some of these little tins. What I use my little bits and bobs so I put my cocktail sticks toothpicks or whatever you want to call them in I use them a lot then tinkering about with <coughs> excuse me so that'll be the next video so until then 
I will catch you later. I hope you've enjoyed that. I mean, it's different. It serves it going in the bin, doesn't it? And to landfill and all things like that. I think we throw far too much stuff away. And I mean, at the end of the day, if I decide I don't want it, I can always give it to somebody. So, but we'll see. So I will catch you later. You know what to do, don't you? Any questions, bob them down below. If you want to get notification of my future videos, you just have to click on that bell icon. And then for the other bit, which we're not really supposed to say, are we? But um, if you want to subscribe, you know what to do. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are. And I'll see you again soon. See you later. Bye. Sorry for the shake.